Did you know that up to 45% of the heat generated by your radiator is lost to your external wall? Well today on Fix It With Fowler I'm going to be installing some Radflex radiator reflectors to combat that problem and reflect up to 95% of the heat back into the room. So you may be wondering why I've chose these Radflex radiator reflectors. There's plenty others on the market. Well, there's a few reasons. And firstly, the main reason is I know that these work. So I've fitted these before in a previous property and you can actually really feel the difference. I mean, I know people say, oh, this is brilliant, that's brilliant, but these really did make a difference in the last property. So hopefully they'll do the same in this house. The other thing that these state on the back is that these are 23% more efficient at saving energy than toothed or louvered reflectors. So that's something worth bearing in mind. I've put a link uh, in the description for these. So as you can see on the screen, I have included a image taken directly from Radflex website, and that's a thermal image of a radiator without the Radflex and a radiator with the Radflex. Also, the image shows the difference between the heat loss uh, via a standard radiator and the heat loss reduced by 45% with 95% of the radiated heat reflected back into the room. So what makes this product so good is that it only takes minutes to fit. There's no sticking to the wall, no need to remove the radiator and no DIY knowledge is needed. The other major advantage is there's no maintenance required. So once it's installed, you can just leave it where it is. Okay, so let's see what is included in the pack itself. So we've got some sticky foil tape, the radiator reflector sheet, some brackets for the sheet, and somewhere there will be some instructions. So as it turns out, the instructions are on the back of the pack and they're really simple to follow. All you're gonna need is some scissors, a tape measure, possibly a marker pen, one sheet of the reflector foil, and a couple of brackets. So these radiators are fitted to the wall with two brackets, one at each end. So we need to locate them on the back of the radiator and that will allow us to take a measurement between these two brackets. So if you look down the back of the radiator, you can now see this bracket. So if you've got room, you could slide a tape measure down the back of this radiator and get your measurement. Failing that, you could draw a line up the wall to the top of the radiator and make a small pencil mark at each end of the radiator. That will allow you to put your tape measure on top and take your measurement for your material. Okay, so once you've got your width between your radiator brackets, you can then transfer it onto your Radflex material. So the material has actually got all lines on to give you a guidance. However, it's very unlikely that they're gonna fall with the exact measurement that you want to make. So what I'm going to do is make a couple of marks on this material and now I can cut that to the right width. Okay, so the final measurement we need to make is from the top of the brackets behind the radiator down to the bottom of the radiator. Now, in this case, it's not far off the skirting board. So what I'm going to do is take that measurement and then we can do the same thing, transfer it to this, cut it along the bottom, and then we're ready to fit the actual brackets. 
So if you come to the end of your radiator, it allows you just to see down the side and you can see the brackets. And what we're going to do is measure down, in this case, just below the radiator to the skirting board. Now, I would advise you to leave a little bit extra. And that's because when we fit the brackets, we're actually going to roll the material up slightly. So I'm just going to get my tape measure slide in at the end and then measure from the skirting board up to the top of the brackets. And then that's a measurement of 49 centimetres. And we can transfer that over onto the reflective material. OK, so hopefully you can see these lines that are on the material. So we're just literally going to come along this line here, cut down it, and that's the length of the material all sorted. OK, so the next thing we need to do now is to install these supporting brackets. So they all just sit on the material like that, and this bit will overhang the bracket at each end. So the first thing we need to do is fold the material to give these brackets something to grip onto. So if you fold it all the way along, So the next thing is to get your supporting bracket and as you can see they're like a teardrop shape and that just sits over the foil and clumps onto the foil. So you just want to leave probably about 20-30mm over each end. So if you get that and slide that onto the foil itself and repeat that at the other end. So once you've got both the supporting ends on, the next thing you need to do is just fold it over once more. And by folding it over, you ensure that them brackets are going to support this foil and not come off. So once we've done that, the next stage is to actually install it behind the radiator. OK, so once you've got your material, the side with the printed writing on actually goes towards the wall. So you want the plain side facing towards the back of the radiator. And now all you need to do is slide that down behind the radiator and that should just sit on those brackets. So that's the rad fleck all installed. And as you can see, there is no visible signs of the actual material itself it's actually really really good so you can see that's it down the back of the radiator but like I said as you come away from the radiator you can't actually see it so that's the end of the video I hope you found it useful uh, really easy to install and a real good product and definitely makes a difference especially if your house is a bit older like my own so don't forget Give the video a thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment and the most important thing, please subscribe to my channel.